Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> Dave Taylor here, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so Dave Taylor here, and yeah, here I am. I'm one of those guys that pulls out my little tablet and I actually watch sporting events. And I do this often while I'm actually working on another device. Now, here's the thing is the audio, right? So I've been using, and this is vast overkill. <laughs> I've been using the Bowers and Wilkins P5 wireless um, for my audio side of things. And let's just put aside the track event. It's all leading up to the Olympics, which is cool. And let's talk about these headphones because these are deceptively small little headphones. They fold up and they become very small, right? Very small profile here. And the fact is, these are great headphones. They sound really, really good. And in fact, the first time I put them on, I was really taken aback by just how rich the sound was and just how much bass there was. Because they're not those full, you know, cupping over your ears. They don't close out all the environmental sound around you. They just have a whole pile of oomph. There's a lot going on on these little, very modest headphones that make these a real superstar. And if you look online, people are nuts about these things. The Bowers and Wilkins P5s. Now, these are the wireless ones, but they've done so much attention to detail. And to me, the real great trade-off is that it's just so small. They're just really easy to travel. They're easy to fit into my bag. And, you know, I have other headphones I've been using for travel and they just, they'll be like this wide. And these flatten so much that they just fit very neatly into my bag and no hassle. And obviously they're wireless and they're Bluetooth APTX, which means it's a higher audio quality. And these actually run about 17 hours on a charge, which is super easy. And they basically, you just go ahead and put them on your head and all the controls are on the right hand side. So I guess if you're left handed, you have to sort of get used to doing that. But I'll give you some close ups. On the side, there are three buttons that are volume up, down, and then the middle button is a multi-function. So you can do pause, play, and then with slightly different variations, you can do things like answer an incoming phone call or skip tracks. So very easy. And then on the bottom of the right hand one, there's the micro USB port for charging, which is obviously helpful. And then there's this button that actually I've never really encountered a button like this because it slides to power on, power off, and then you can push it to actually go into Bluetooth pairing mode. So it's kind of um, interesting to have it be dual function, but in practice, you really don't have to pair it very often anyway. So um, works out great and it's super responsive. Even the buttons are responsive. So if I have it on and I slide it to turn it off, I just get this nice little do, 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 and it's off. I mean, it's like instantly, the whole thing reacts really crisp. And of course, the most important thing about any headphones is the sound. And I wish I could have you hear these because they're really pretty blow you away good sound here. And again, you look at this and you think, these are pretty dinky little headphones. I can go and buy like these fancy Beats from Apple or something and they're much bigger, much more cool looking. But these are really, really good. I really like these. In fact, these have become my headphones of choice on my mobile warrior computer kit. And I was obviously listening to some sports here um, on television via my laptop, etc. But of course, most of the time I'm actually listening to audio and listening to music. And I just love these things. These are just the greatest little headphones. Now, to be fair, they come with a price tag. So how much would you pay for these Bowers and Wilkins P5 wireless? What? Oh, no, no, they're more than that. So these are 399 bucks, but the good news is that if you go to bowersandwilkins.com, bowers-wilkins.com, they're actually on sale right now for 349, and that's the same price you can find them at Amazon. So I think 349 is actually just their sort of market price instead of their manufacturer suggested retail. 349 bucks is a lot of money for a pair of headphones, but these are a beautiful pair of headphones and I really, really like them. And I think you would too if you checked them out. So this is Dave Taylor and I think I gotta get back to the Olympic preliminaries going on here. So I'm gonna have to catch you in my next video.